Welcome back to Tied Up in Sydney. My name is Jeff. Some of you have seen me recently on the ASX website. I've done a video on getting started as a trader and using the ASX game as a tool. Now, if you haven't seen that video, you do have an interest in finance and learning how to get started as a trader, I absolutely recommend you go and watch that video. For me, uh, when I heard I was going to be going to do this video, I spent a few, few minutes trying to decide what knot I wanted to wear for that video, and I decided to choose this one. Uh, I was heading to the Australian Securities Exchange. Naturally, I wanted to do something a little bit out there and something that would be a bit bullish. And a knot that looks like a bull is definitely the way to go. This knot is called the Torres Knot. It's also called the Lynn Knot after its, after its creator, which was Linwood Darkus. And you can definitely go over to his YouTube channel and see the original video on how to put this knot together. And I'll provide my version here. Setting up the Torres knot, we're going to have the large blade on my right hand side. I've got the tail over here on my left. And we're going to be setting this up as if we're tying a full Windsor, um, but using even more fabric than that. So you're really going to be raising this tail end up quite high uh, on your chest. I have it right now, uh, right, right about the, just maybe just below my left nipple actually. Um, and then from there, you're going to start it just like a full Windsor. So the left is going to come into the diagram. The right goes out of the diagram like this one. And then it's just going to come up and through your collar. You bring it back across to your right hand side. From there, around the back. Back into the center. And off to the right hand side. I usually you'd snug this up nice, uh, nice and tight like you're doing a full Windsor, but what we're going to do is actually go and loosen that up now. And from my left hand side, I'm just going to start with my finger through here and then create a little hole. The blade is back on my right hand side. I'm going to take and point the blade this way and I'm just going to bring it through these two loops that I've just created and start pulling the blade through. Just like this. From here, opening up these two centers, I'm just going to start to uh, bring the bring the face out a little bit, like so. And I'm going to bring the blade up through the center again, and just like we were doing a normal Windsor, it's going to drop right down through our loop. All right, so that's where we're at. And from here, I'm going to pull these out. So these two loops, we're just going to pull that out a bit. And then you're just going to start tightening your knot by pulling up on the back end here. See how that starts to tighten your knot? And then you can pull that down through here and then repeat the process. You pull these loops out from the center here and then up from the back and just tighten the face of your knot again. Pull that fabric down through. And then from there, you can just, just like any standard knot, you hold the tail and cinch it up into place. And you should have your length perfect, which is right around your belt line. Uh, this being uh, tied in this way does create a bit of a trial and error process when you're trying to get the length right. Bring that collar down. And what you should end up with is that knot looking a bit like a bull, bull's face with the horns. Okay, and that is the Linwood Taurus knot. Thanks again for watching Tied Up in Sydney. Uh, I do hope that you like the Linwood Taurus knot. If you do, give me a thumbs up. I'd like to see your comments down below. Please subscribe.